Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Inspiron 5570. The regulatory model is a P75F. And in this video, I'm gonna go over and show you guys how to open it up, how you can repaste, clean up the motherboard and the fan and change the thermal paste. So I'm gonna go over the tools that you're gonna need and few uh, information that you might need. To replace your thermal paste, you're not going to lose any files, your windows is still going to be the same, but it is good to do your own replacing of thermal paste every few years, every year and a half, every two years, depending the usage of the laptop. And this is very important because once the temperature on this laptop go up on the CPU, because of the overheating, it will protect itself and it will shut down, you get sudden shutdowns. And even the CPU clock, the clock speed will drop down once the temperature it and go up over 89 or 90 degrees all right with all this said we're going to power off the laptop and we're going to flip it upside down so we can see the bottom side of the laptop tools that you're going to need the first most important one is an alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic 99 percent alcohol you can use anything over 90 percent you'll need a good thermal paste i'm going to be using an art Take uh, RTX MX4, you can use an MX5 if you want. If you want to go overboard and overkill, go with the Thermal Greasy Cryonaut, but it's really overkill, you don't need to. You need a workshop towel, I'll be using a workshop towel. I'll leave the link for all this in the video uh, section. And you will need a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set and from here we're going to be using a Phillips number zero from this tool set. If you get the pro version, you will get an opening tools and a few tweezers. If not, for the opening tool, we're going to be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this on hand, we're going to get it started. Um, you will need a toothbrush, new or used toothbrush. I don't have one lying around here. But you need a toothbrush. All right. What we're gonna do down here, you're gonna see the bottom, the corner screws right in here, and the one in the middle right there. In these screws, they will not come out entirely. You just have to loose them up, and they will stick out a little bit. So like this, you just wanna leave it there. Just loose them up, and there we have it. And go ahead and remove the all of the rest of the screws and keep them in one pile so you don't lose them. The one in the middle too. If you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once we remove all the screws, the one in here, this screw was the smallest one, the shortest one, so yeah. Once we remove all of them, now what we want to do, you want to open up the laptop 45 degrees, a little bit like that. And we're going to stick the guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. And what we want to do, we just want to twist it backward and you want to hear a big click. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that all around in the front end. Go all the way to the corner, to the side. Work yourself to the back corner. Make sure you hit those clicks. To the left and right side, both of them. Now we're going to close up the screen and we're going to put it upside down. And now what are you going to do in here? Grab the bottom cover, wiggle it around and lift it up and it should release itself from the back end. So there's your bottom cover. You can grab a toothbrush and clean up the dust mesh right here and clean up the rest of the dust in here. And from here, now we have the inside of the laptop. You can see the heat sink, the fan, which is a little bit dusty. This one is actually not that dusty. And the battery right here. Before we continue, we're gonna disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, you wanna pull this jack by your fingernails backwards, just wiggle it around a little bit, and it's really hard, but pull it towards the battery evenly, and it will disconnect itself. Now you can work on the laptop. Yeah, I'm gonna be using a curved tweezers. The curved tweezers I use, I don't wanna pull on the cables for the fan, so I'm gonna, the same way that we remove the battery, put the tweezers on the side of the here where the clip is and you want to pull it back so you can disconnect the jack. 
Once you disconnect the jack, now we're gonna remove the three screws for the uh, fan. There we have it. Now the flex cable for the LCD, it goes zigzagging around the fan, so you wanna untangle that. And now we can go ahead and loosen up the fan and pull it out. You can clean up the fan and the dust in here without removing the heat sink. Just clean it up and just jack it right under there and pull it out. You don't want to lift it up because otherwise you're going to pull the heat sink up. You want to slide it out. You can use a toothbrush, compressed air and clean up the fan outside. But if you want to repaste, you want to remove these four screws. These screws, they do have a seal lock on them. So you just want to twist a few turns until you feel that it's loose. Do all of them. Now what you want to do, you want to lift up the heat sink, bring it up. This one has a little more turn to go. There we go. And there we have it. I don't like this heat sink. It's really flimsy heat sink and the heat pipe, the condenser is not kind of good. The heat pipe goes over, not in between. And there's a copper and there's a different type of metal touching the CPU and the metal has to absorb the heat, which is not a good conductive of heat. And then passes to the copper pipe so yeah anyway so there's your CPU to clean it up you need a little bit of piece of the workshop towel you want to soak it in an alcohol and what you want to do you want to just clean up the dye the crystal dye the CPU if you want to go crazy on this one and clean it up nicely I recommend you guys to use a workshop towel don't use towel or anything like that will give you lots of dust particles. This one is great. And we're gonna do use the same old one to clean up the excess of the paste on the heat sink block. So I'm gonna rub it up and clean it up, shine it up. A tiny piece of towel, I finished both of them. So yeah, I'm gonna use a clean part of the towel. Do have one smooth pass on the die, a nice pass in here. You want to grab a thermal paste. I'm going to put a tiny line on the big die and one tiny drop right in the small die. Right there. Now, what you want to do, you want to grab the heat sink, put, align it straight right over, and hold it down. And you want to follow the numbers one, two, three, four, or you can do four, three, two, one, as long as you cross screw them. You totally fine, and the reason is for the thermal paste, it can be spreaded evenly underneath uh, over the crystal die. That's the only reason they call, they put the numbers this way. And you want to grab the fan, slide the fan under the heat sink, bring it down. You want to zigzag. You can zigzag or leave it as a cable, but go ahead and zigzag it right there. That doesn't make any difference. And put the three screws for the fan. And don't forget to connect the fan cable. Uh, most people always forget to connect the fan connector. Just grab it and slide it right into the jack. And that's how you connect it in. Now, last thing would be to just grab the connector for the battery. Evenly push it towards the jack. And once you're done with that, just grab the bottom cover, bring it over. Set it down and push the corners on down. Make sure you hit that click, mid back, all that. Now, first we're gonna go ahead and screw this screw that I'm sticking out, and then next I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, clip the top and bottom covers. So once you put those in there, you wanna open up the laptop a little bit, and you wanna see these openings in here. You wanna just pinch them together hard, and it will go together. It will snap back in. Do that to every corner. Once you did that, now you want to put it back down and put all the screws that you removed from the bottom casing. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own service. If it did, please click that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screw.